All right, <laughs> I'm wearing a shirt. I've gotten this in the request, so I'm just gonna do it because because you know what? We love Ariana. I'm literally just doing the replica of like, obviously not as good as her. I've gotten a request to do like an acne coverage, but like Ariana Grande inspired. I'm gonna put this picture like right here so that you will get an idea or like right here. There we go. Then you'll get an idea. I guess Ariana's makeup. And then I'm also gonna put a picture of like her eye liner because her eyeliner is done just so thick and like that is literally like what makes her obviously Ariana with her like crazy liner and then she also tends to stick to like the same color palette neutral browns oranges pinks that's kind of her thing copper her lip here is more of like orange and she has a lot of orangey kind of glowy vibes around <laughs> about her I'm just gonna try to replicate that and I'm just I don't know what I'm getting myself into oh uh, why am I doing this I don't know my microphone was not recording that whole time the whole intro now we're going to hopefully get some better audio. Honestly, I could care less about audio, but I'm just gonna do it just because I feel like I should be doing it. <laughs> we're going to go with Physicians Formula Illuminating Primer, favorite primer. And um, again, I don't care if I have, well actually my texture again, like if you saw my last video, obviously my texture has improved so much. So I feel like day by day, I can get away with this kind of like very, very uh, greasy looking highlight. This is very, very, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I feel like I'm gonna totally butcher this look. Ah, this is this is making me stressed out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm just gonna be taking this really messy Marc Jacobs, um, you know, foundation because we're trying to be very uh, flawless, just as flawless as her. I don't know if I could achieve that, <laughs> but all I could do is my best. <laughs> There, instant color. I kind of like this, like layering and stuff. I'm digging that. I'm digging the look. <laughs> this foundation is like the mattest foundation I've ever tried in my life. Recapping on just Thursday's video I posted. Honestly, I've never felt so like good in my own skin in a while. It was more so the pain because, oh my gosh, if it's cystic, it is so painful. It clearly works. Uh, pretty much just as good as Accutane without like the harmful side effects of Accutane But I'm thinking I know it's a vitamin But like is it still masking an internal problem that I still might have? I don't know That is my only concern about taking this stuff So I don't know hopefully in the new year I could afford to go to a naturopath and maybe film it <laughs> Get my hormones checked and stuff cuz honestly I have no oh yeah, I'm taking some tart Tape shape annoying extra any pimples that I have. Still kind of concerned despite my acne is getting better. But again, I'm just like, is there still another underlying problem that I'm not taking care of? Like, is this just masking my issue? A side of me is like, I'm very thankful that my acne is getting better. But then the other side of me is also like, is there still issues going on internally? I'm just masking it with this vitamin. So I don't know. Just like how you would mask your own internal issues with like Accutane or something, right? Cause obviously that doesn't take care of the root of the problem. Chances are it's like gut related, digestion related, which I definitely think my acne had to do with all of that. <laughs> I'm so confident in that. So this is my skin. I didn't really take it down my neck, honestly, but ugh. this foundation is like a pretty good match in general. Like it's like the best matching foundation I have and I can't really tell the difference. Do my brows with Anastasia Dip Brow. We're going to be applying eyeshadow on top of my eyelash extensions, so I'm very scared. <laughs> I'm so paranoid. I'm like, how do I even clean them? Because I never had any eyelash extensions before. Her eyebrows are super, like, big. Like, <laughs> I'm looking at her eyebrows right now, and her eyebrows aren't arched. They're literally just, like, straight, and then they kind of, like, close. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe if I can recreate something like that. But again, I am no eyebrow professional. We could try to make them, like, a bit bigger and round it off instead of arched. But, like, that's all. I feel like that looks so weird on me. And also, I have no idea, like, how about to go doing that? Like that, maybe? Oh, my God. I'm just going to be making my eyebrows so thick. They're, like, rounded. Oh, my gosh. Because my eyebrows are kind of, like, naturally arched. So, I don't know gonna work oh my god okay I probably should stop before something I do I will regret so we're just gonna stop it there this is as like thick as I'll make them honestly I don't know if this is even good <laughs> But I'm trying to take away the arch from my eyebrow. Actually, I'm gonna like carve them out now. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. concealer. I mean, they're not horrible. So, cause again, I don't wanna 
thin them out though too much. She has like thick eyebrows, man. <laughs> <laughs> this concealer dries so fast. Oh my god. We're gonna just blend as we go, I think. Also, I think this color is super pale. So I'm gonna put on some uh, concealer. You all know the drill. My favorite concealer. Bye Bye Dry by Cosmetics. It's so good. I'm gonna link that down below. I'll link all the products below. And we're just going to warm it up and just apply with my ring fingers because it is the most naturalist kind of effect if you apply it with your fingers instead of a brush. Like super, super thick concealers, like you definitely, definitely, definitely want ooh, to apply it with your fingers if you want a more natural look. I've never put makeup above my eyelashes yet with the extension. Can't get over her eyebrows. I never realized that they were like not arched. <laughs> I'm like fascinated. This is something I've just never noticed. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what's going on with mine. <laughs> yeah, I think mine will forever have uh, an arch. I just, I can't do it. I'm to set the face right away with some Cody Airspun powder. Okay, okay, okay. Not making them creases. I want like a nice orangey. I think, yeah, it's like an orangey. <coughs> I'm gonna go for a nice orangey makeup look. Orange and bronzy. So yeah, we're just gonna mattify this face. And then I feel like the primer I just put on the first thing, it's more of like uh, throughout the day, it kind of will shine through or show through. So I'm just gonna take my Marc Jacob. I'm gonna put on some bronzer and then we're going to right away do the eye makeup because that obviously is the most important part and the most signature part. Yeah, a lot, a lot of bronzer. <laughs> I'm gonna take a kind of one of these and I'm gonna cut. <laughs> Make it nice and cut. Wow, this packs on so much powder. If you want a powder brush, honestly, just use this. Oh wait, maybe not. What's going on? <laughs> this isn't doing anything. Oh, here we go. I guess you have to tap it. This kind of works like a beauty blender, honestly. Beauty blenders work a bit better. Tati made me buy this. It was like the super sponge. <laughs> uh, and I never really even used it, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let that soak. And I'm just going to put some loose, translucent powder on my eyes. I'll replicate that like orangey kind of like look. So I'm gonna be taking the shade. Taking the shade, <laughs> beaches. Oh yeah, that's like that orangey shade. Oh yeah, I'll link the brushes I use down below. <laughs> I should be able to find them. Some are kind of old. <laughs> this is like the perfect shade. <laughs> At least I think. I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, eye makeup is like fairly simple. Basically, she just takes that like orangey shade, she puts it in her crease, and then this is just like a little denser brush. I'm gonna put it more so, pack it a bit more deeper in the crease. And also, she drags it to like here, <laughs> puts it right in that socket so uh this looks weird i don't know <laughs> i don't know what to tell i don't know what to tell you i'm trying my best also because i want to look like ariana grande there's not really a light brown in this palette hopefully there's some in this hey there we go my other folicure i love these palettes and they're so good so i'm gonna use give me mocha because it's not dark at all it's like the lightest brownish shade i own i think it doesn't even really darken it, and more so just gives it a bit more warmth. I love eyeshadow. It's just so therapeutic, am I right? The more you do it, the more therapeutic it becomes. I think when you first start with eyeshadow, it's just like the most anxiety-inducing thing. It just stresses me out. <laughs> but some days it doesn't. <laughs> like today, I feel like I'm just doing my thing. The thing is, you gotta just go into eyeshadow just in like the most non-judgmental way you cannot be hard on yourself at all honestly that's a metaphor a metaphor for real life if you are patient enough to do eyeshadow you are patient enough to deal with life's curveballs that they throw at you <laughs> honestly eyeshadow literally is that it trains you to be patient because i'm such a patient person now all aspects of life i'm so patient
patient with people and like everything, the process of my goals and everything in general. And that was honestly before I became good at eye, well, not, I don't consider myself good at eyeshadow, but I mean like, I'm definitely more patient when it comes to doing eyeshadow. I was never patient with eyeshadow before I started becoming patient with like life in general. Me doing eyeshadow reflects my whole like growth in life, <laughs> honestly. I don't even know if I just made a lick of sense, but hopefully some of you can kind of get that. I don't know. <laughs> she probably brush this away, hey? It's gonna like ingrain way too deep. Like the lid, she has like a super light, it's like a very matte, nudie color shade. Found a shade! It literally is this tempura in modern renaissance. This is going to fit so well. And oh my god, how do I do this with la like lashes? So, oh my god. <laughs> Cause like she doesn't have a cut crease. It literally is just plain and simple eyeshadow. Like it's literally just like blending and <laughs> kind of going again from darker to light. It's like on her whole lid. This color is like so pigmented, thank goodness. Do it with the other eye. So it kind of like transitions. Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> uh, I mean, this definitely is the right kind of shade. I want to put some of this champagne color. It's so cute. I don't want it to wet it because I want it to be super subtle because she doesn't even have any sparkle on the middle of her eyes, so. We're just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna take this WA, this literally is just like pure, pure white color. Put it right here. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, this is so white. Kinda like that. I think that's the closest we're gonna get. <laughs> Ish. Okay, and now I think it is time to do some eyeliner, which I am so internally scared for. Like it's weird because like sometimes her eyeliner is done differently. Here it's so thick. It just goes so incredibly thin. But then like this picture, for example, her eyeliner just looks completely even. Whatever, we're just gonna make it as thick as we can get away with. Just going to hope for the best and just do it. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Dude, with... Uh, I'm getting so much eyeliner on my lashes. This is a make or break moment, ladies and gentlemen. Her eyeliner goes like so up. Did I not do it high enough maybe? Her eyeliner goes so up. Cause like usually when I do wing eyeliner, I go out a bit more. Hers is like, <laughs> hers is like 90 degree angle. <laughs> How do I do that? I feel like I failed already. I feel like it's like more like this. Okay, I'm gonna hopefully like get rid of that and conceal it. Cause yeah, I feel like this is more like it. Yeah, it's more like that. Her liner is so thick. So we're going to clean up this first one because I realized that that was way too low, apparently. Honestly, I could probably even go high. Cause like her highliner is like yeet. <laughs> it does a big yeet. That's the best I can explain how her eyeliner goes. <laughs> yeah, that's so Ariana, like right there. I've never done that before in my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to clean that up. If this is not an Ariana liner, I don't know what is, okay. Interesting. <laughs> I have like a little eyeliner jar, paint pot thing. So I'm just gonna sharpen my wing because I currently cannot find my NYX matte liquid liner and that literally has the best tip, but this one, ugh, it's like so bad. I won't even mention it because it's so bad, but <laughs> I just use that instead. So we're going to, this is literally going all the way up to my eyebrow. Oh my God. I gotta do it, I gotta do. So that is crazy, <laughs> but what we're working with okay i'm gonna do quickly the other eye off camera because this is just uh, this is a whole situation <laughs> oh my gosh i feel like i maybe made this way too long anyway that's that i have to brush out my lashes because they're a bit funky this eyeliner definitely calls for like super thick lashes but i just do not have those right now <laughs> so we are going to take some of this note this is like a super nice corally orangey shade oh my gosh this, i swear this audio thing <laughs> my mic situation is just like all over the place today we are going to just put some of that corally blush on for highlighter i'm going to be put on the sleek makeup like the most bronziest 
highlighters I've ever tried in my life. These are so good. So I'm just gonna take, it comes with two creams and two powders. So I'm just mixing the two powders together. Woo hoo hoo! <laughs> there we go. This is like true bronze highlight. Hoo hoo hoo! Super bronzy, super glowy, super sweaty looking, <laughs> which is what we're going for. For the lips. We're gonna stick to like an orangey, bronzy kind of lip. I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Nudist Peach. Cause yeah, we want that nice bronzy look. Her orangey, nudie lips that she kind of has. At least it'll be like kind of monochromatic to match the eyes. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna take is this Wet n Wild Metallic Lipstick in the shade Honey Glaze. And it's really gonna just make a really nice shimmer, like a bronzy shimmer to the lip. I'm just gonna put it in the center. Really, really makes it look so shiny. I actually had another color here. If I wanted to make it even more orangey, this was like the little sample of Folic Cure. Straight up like orangey reddish shade. I should have put this on before. Oh yeah, it's super orange. Ooh, I should really like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna just reapply this because that kind of like faded. That is so glowy. Ooh, looking nice. The last thing I'm going to do is add a lip gloss because I love, and her, her lips are like super, super glossy. So to add on the extra, extra shine and gloss, we're gonna put this bronzy, um, in essence, shine, shine, shine lip gloss in the shade 06 Bright On. Takes the shine to a whole nother level. So I'm just going to quickly set my face with Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Adds a very nice glow, super, super glowy. And then hopefully this will kind of come to the surface. The primer we initially put down, because again, this is a super, super glowy primer. Kickstarted. Okay, <laughs> this highlighter, it's so insane. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely do not have her facial features, so automatically I'm not going to look like her. But this is the makeup she did, at least what I think she did. And very nudie, very natural. I look so shiny though, like, <laughs> uh, I'm like insanely glowy. That eyeliner though, oh my gosh, it's so intense. Anyway, I hope you have a good day, good night, whenever you're watching this. Please subscribe if you want to see more of me. I post every Sunday and Thursday, and I guess I will see you in the next video. Okay, <laughs> peace.